when you know you are anointed and appointed and you know that God is doing things through you and you hold that influence, great influence, I want you to understand and remember that this is not just about you. So you, you're going to reach a place of, you're coming into that elevation, you're rising. God is taking you higher. You can tell by your life that you're finally moving. You used to be stagnant and stuck, but now you're elevating and moving. And see, but because we've been on a long journey, we've been tired. We're exhausted. And sometimes we'd be wanting to give up. But you got to remember who you are. You have to remember the purpose on your life. As you go up, the pressure is going to get heavier. And the voices outside of you are going to get louder. But you got to remember that God is doing this work through your life. You got to remember who you are. Don't give up because there's going to be some pressure coming. The higher you go, the more people are going to want to try to pull you low. Come on now. But you got to remember it is God who's doing this work through you. It's God who's doing this work. Don't forget what you're here for. Don't give up. You will have victory in your life. Any tongue that rises up against you, God will condemn it. They will be cut down. Let God fight those battles. You focus on the mission. You focus on the work. You don't fit the description for what you're doing. But God has already approved you. So nobody can counsel you or deny you or decline you. Come on now. You better catch them diamonds. Can't nobody pull you back when God has already pulled you up. It's not next, but you're now. You're now in elevation. You're now. You're in the midst of success right now. Look around you. Don't get tired. Don't give up. Ask God to give you strength. Because you're coming into a new place. Mark my words. This is a prophetic message. You're coming into a new life in a new place. But it's going to be a little chaotic. Because of everybody around you. But that ain't what you're doing it for. Keep your mind on the mission and on the people that God is sending you to. Listen, this is just your confirmation to remind you that what you're doing is bigger than you. It's bigger than you. God needs you. That's why he chose you. Just look at yourself in the mirror and say, God has chosen me. I was, I was perfect for what he's doing. Keep that in mind. No matter what nobody say, they going to talk. Let them talk. But you keep building for the kingdom of God. God will vindicate you in front of everybody. What he say? I'll make your enemies your footstool. Catch them down.